Hi, it's Sharon. Today we're going to be planting and growing some cress. Now this here, I planted on Thursday. And that's a good thing about cress. It comes through really, really quickly. As you can see, it's not fully through yet, but it's, it's getting there. Cress is really good as well. You can have it just on a salad or you can have egg and cress sandwiches. Really nice. It's really healthy. It's good for you. So I'm going to pop that there and we'll show you what you need. So if you've got an old container, this had mushrooms in it. They often have grapes, different things. But one of the ones that comes with fruit or veg in it, this one hasn't, get any, hasn't got any holes in the bottom. And I think that's probably better so that we don't end up with the water seeping through. If you do have one with holes in, if you just get a plate or something to pop underneath, that'd be great. So you need your container. You need some cress seeds. Oops. And I'm using cotton wool for the bottom. So just pull the cotton wool out. Enough to sort of cover the bottom of your dish. Just pop it in. There you go. And we're just going to pour some water over there. Dampen that. It'll have gone straight to the bottom. So if we just turn it over, there. That's lovely. And then you just get your seeds. So just open the packet. The easiest way is probably to pour some out on your hand. And the, the good thing with cress, you get absolutely tons of seeds. So you just sprinkle them on across the dampened cotton wool. If you don't have cotton wool paper towel or to toilet paper, you can use that. Just wet it. There. And once they're done, you just pop them on your window. I popped mine on my bedroom window so where there's lots of sun, just left them. Don't let it dry out. So if it gets very dry, just put a tiny bit of water on. And there you go, you've got your cress seeds. Now, to make it more fun, for those who are doing this with young children, those tubs are nice, but it's nice to have something more child-friendly. So... I used a small pot bottle, juice bottle, and I've just cut it down and I've cut it into the flowery shape. Then in the centre, same again, just need a little bit of cotton wool. I'm just going to pour some water on. Oops. And we're going to get those seeds again. going to sprinkle those on into the centre there we go also for younger children if you've got this a container something that's had a dessert or something in it just a small pot now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some faces on this so I've got some wiggly eyes I've got some coloured acrylic pens. So first I'm going to draw smiley mouth on here. <laughs> then I'm going to turn it round a little bit and I'm going to do a sad face. So we're going to have a sad mouth on this one. Then we're going to do another big smiley mouth. There we go. And do another mouth on there. And then we're going to do some big lips on there. I'm going to show you the pot. And I've done them. So we've got the different mouth expressions. Now we need to put on the eyes. Right, so I'm just going to get some glue. A packet of sort of medium-sized 
wiggly eyes. Then you just get the eyes, put the glue on. And stick them round the pot. Now you do you could use a good thing to use would be an old egg cup boiled for a boiled egg. So if you use an egg cup, that'll look really good when all the air pops out of the top. You could use egg boxes as well. Just cut them into sections and just use one piece. There we go. So there's some more eyes. I'm going to pop these all the way around. Oh, that looks really miserable. Especially with only one eye. I think we need to put another one on. There we go. Use that glue. You need quite a strong glue. PVA is fine. You just might need to leave it a while to dry. This glue tends, to, I tend to use this more than anything. It's um, high tack glue. And it's really good because it works with fabric as well. Right, I'm going to put some more eyes on. Rather than put it on the eye, I'm just going to put it on here and stick the eye on. I think that will actually be the easier way of doing it. So there we go. There's another one. Oh, yeah, it's much easier this way. There. I've got another face to do, so keep putting these on, then I'll show you the effect when it's done. Oops. There we go. And another one. There we go. Ooh. So now some of them are close together, some of them are a bit more stretched out. So I'm going to show you all the faces that we've done. So there we go. It just makes it fun. So they'll dry on. And now we need to put the seeds in. Little pad of cotton wool. Cotton wool balls would be good for this. Just going to pour some water in first. Oops. That'll soak the water up. It's going to turn that over because it's wet on one side. Then we're going to sprinkle on those seeds. And then when the crest comes through, It'll look like fluffy hair. And each face will look different. With its hair. There you go. So that was three different ways to do the crest. So we've got the face dish. We've got the flower. Or oh, star. Because it looks quite like a star. And then we've got the tub. And in about five days' time, it'll start looking like this. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy.